Hi, little sprouts. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a dinosaur? In this book, What If You Had T-Rex Teeth and Other Dinosaur Parts, the author Sandra Markle helps us to see what it would be like to be these prehistoric beings. What if one day when you woke up, you felt a little bit strange? Then you discovered one part of your body was now very different. What if overnight a dinosaur's body part had taken its place? Tyrannosaurus rex was a meat-eating dinosaur with a mouthful of around 60 7-inch long teeth. Its teeth were thick and slightly curved. Plus, each tooth had sharp, jagged edges like a steak knife. When a T-Rex closed its jaws, its upper and lower teeth locked like fingers lacing together. Scientists also believe this dino's jaw muscles slammed its mouth shut with bone-busting force. That's probably why scientists have found bones from other dinosaurs with T-Rex bite marks. If you had Tyrannosaurus rex teeth, you'd never need a knife to cut up your food. A Velociraptor's sickle-tipped toes. That's this sharp one right here. The second toe on each hind foot were just what this meat-eating dinosaur needed to grab dinner. A Velociraptor was rather small, probably only six or seven feet long from its nose to the tip of its tail. Its skeleton shows it ran like a bird on short hind legs with big feet, holding its sharp toes off the ground. Scientists think this dino sneaked close to its prey, leaped, and put those sickle-tipped toes to work. Then dinner was served. If you had Velociraptor's sickle-tipped toes, you could open presents in a flash with your feet. Stegosaurus. A stegosaurus was a giant plant eater with a built-in defense, a spiked tail. Each side of its tail tip had a pair of nearly two foot long spikes. Because a stegosaurus's tail was made up of around 45 to 49 different tail bones, scientists think it could easily swing its tail side to side and maybe even up and down. Wham! A spiked tail slap was sure to back off an enemy. If you had a stegosaurus spiked tail, you'd always be ready to t toast marshmallows by the campfire. See this? He's using his tail to roast those marshmallows. Parasaurophus. It had an amazing long crest on top of its head. Some crests were as long as five feet. X-rays and CT scans of fossil skulls have shown scientists this crest was full of the dinosaur's breathing tubes. These tubes stretch to the end of the crest and back again before going down its throat. Scientists tried blowing air through the model crest to figure out what this dinosaur might have sounded like. They learned that the length of the crest affected the sound it made, giving each Paralophosaurus its own voice. If you had a head crest like this, you could be the lead of the school marching band because your voice would be so loud. Angliosaurus was a tank of a dinosaur with a full coat of body armor. That armor was made up of rows of bone plates within its skin. Scientists have discovered many similar kinds of dinosaurs, which they have grouped together as Angliosaurus. Some of these dinos had flat bone plates for their armor, Others had plates with spines or spikes. At least one kind of ankylosaur even had armor eyelids. But all of them topped off their protective armor with a bony, helmet-like skull. If you had an ankylosaurus's body armor, you'd be your hockey team's MVP.
see that? You could slam into things playing hockey or football and it wouldn't hurt because your body would be covered by armor. Brachiosaurus was a plant eater with a long neck, perfect for munching treetops. Its neck was nearly 30 feet long, which let it reach as high as a three-story building. This dino's 13 huge neck bones were full of holes so that its long neck was light enough to lift. Since its teeth weren't very good for chewing, its gut had to do all the digesting once it swallowed. And what a long swallow it had. If you had a Brachiosaurus's neck, you could easily see over everyone's head at the movies. Thyrosinosaurus had front limbs that were tipped with nearly two foot long claws. See those? At first, scientists thought those long claws meant this dinosaur was a hunter. But after studying fossils, scientists learned Thyrosinosaurus claws were thin and probably not good for catching prey. Plus, this dino had a plant eater's beak and only teeny tiny teeth. Now scientists believe Thyrosinosaurus was a plant eater that used its giant claws to bring leafy branches close enough to grab a mouthful. If you had their claws, you would make the veg hedge sculptures. You could use them to trim the bushes. Edmonthorus's shovel-shaped jaws made its mouth perfect for scooping up shrubby plants. As its jaw muscles pulled its mouth closed, the hard beak at the front snipped off each bite. Next, muscles moved the dinosaur's big jaws to crush its food between bunches of small teeth, almost 700 total. Packed so close together, they acted like giant molars. Scientists believe this dinosaur wasn't picky and ate whatever it could scoop up, leaves, berries, seeds, and even little shellfish. If you had a shovel-shaped jaw, you would win every food-eating contest. See? Because he could just scoop up the whole pie. <laughs> Triceratops' giant skull was armed with three horns. An adult's nose horn was about a foot long, but the two brow horns, one above each eye, poked out about three feet. Behind these horns, its head and neck were shielded with a helmet-like frill. Scientists think being armed and armored let this dino put up a good fight if a meat-eating meat-eater attacked. But scratches found on Triceratops horns also may also mean these dinosaurs clashed horns in battles for mates. If you had Triceratops horns, you could carry all the groceries in one trip. There's its three horns. One, two, three. And they're very strong. Dilophosaurus was an eight foot tall dino with long hind legs. Scientists studying its skeleton have found lots of places where big muscles attach to its hind legs. This is proof this dinosaur was fast. Its footprints also show that Dilophosaurus stepped on just three toes and a foot pad. So it was probably light enough on its feet to make quick turns and big leaps. Since it had sharp meat-eater teeth, Dilophosaurus probably chased down fast food. If you had Dilophosaurus's hind legs, you would be a star dancer because you could leap and twirl and be very fast on your toes. Spinosaurus had a giant sail on its back. This was made up of skin coated with keratin, the same tough stuff human fingernails are made out of, and held up by a six foot long spines. The dino skeleton shows its backbones were locked together. Scientists believe that kept its sail upright and always full, fully spread open. All the better to show off. The giant sail was sure to catch a future mate's eye 
and it may be made Spinosaurus look too big for other dinosaurs to attack. If you had a spine sail, you'd be a champion windsurfer. Dinosaur parts could be cool for a while, but you don't need a 30 foot long neck to reach your food or a super strong bite to eat it. Your voice sounds just fine without a long head crest to fine tune it. And you don't need a giant sail to be noticed. But if you could keep any dinosaur part for more than a day, what kind would be right for you? What do you think, Little Sprouts? Which dinosaur body part would you like to have? Luckily, you don't have to choose. You aren't living long enough in the age of dinosaurs. You're living now. All of your parts are people parts. They are exactly what you need to be the one and only you.